Sitting down with head coach Billy Gernon of the Bronco baseball team. Coach Gernon, your team's getting ready to move away from some of this cold Michigan weather and go down to Lubbock, Texas for the Red Raider Classic, where you'll face Utah Valley, Texas Tech, Northwestern, and come back again and play Utah Valley once more. Just talk a little bit about how it's going to be getting out there, you know, maybe some first baseball of the season for uh, this Western Michigan team. Well, we're excited, and you and I are sitting in my office right now, and there's still a lot of snow out on the ground, even though it's starting to melt. So we, we've seen the forecast in Lubbock, and it's for 70, so we're excited to see some good weather. Uh, the Red Raiders field is a full turf field, so these games ought to be played without question. Um, but we're ready to get outside, that's for sure. We've been inside now, 17 straight practices, and I believe our guys are ready and uh, the game's meant to be played outside, so uh, we're anxious to get on the road. And how difficult is the transition where you come from hitting inside cages and you know working in an indoor facility to taking you know the field outside, and especially taking the field against some teams that have already been outside? Well, I think they have a distinct advantage, and it's a really good point, and it's, it's often uh, the center of debate at a lot of the coaches' meetings that they have. Obviously, the guys that are south of... You know, Louisville, Kentucky, or Lexington don't have the issues that we do inside, and we have to recreate um, the environment for live. So we go live in the cages. The re uh, reaction time off the bat is not the same. Uh, it's just a depth perception issue often. But just like all the other teams in the north, and there's a ton of them, you just have to make the best of what you have, and we've got these tremendous facilities here. So what we do, Kristen, is we, we have the, the luxury of having 90-foot bases, so we create situational defense that we want our players to execute, and then we have live pitching going on in the multiple cages that we have, so we can build pitch count, we can build live at-bats, build confidence, and hopefully that way we'll be as close to being ready as we can, considering we're a northern team. And then after you come back from Texas, you have about a week uh, break where you'll be back in Kalamazoo, and then you're going to head down to Florida for the annual spring trip, uh, stopping by Port Charlotte and West Palm Beach. Again, a lot of games, a few days, just kind of these first two trips, what are you really trying to see or establish with your team? Well, I mean, if I had to put one word on it, I would call it discovery. Uh, we did some of that in the fall, um, but no direct competition. Now that we've implemented our program as, as full as we can, our philosophy, our bunt coverages, our first and thirds, and so forth, we're hoping that the first four games in Texas will help us get to know our players, see them perform in, in, in extreme competition levels, see what they do when the game's on the line and so forth, see how they handle failure, see how they handle success. And then, the, and then Florida is, is really the better situation for us. It's 10 days in, in really good weather. It'll allow us to have multiple games. Unlike football, you know, you have a bad game or something, you have to wait seven days to play again. We just play one game after another with a one day off. So those ten games with the four against Ohio State, which will obviously be a big challenge, uh, will just give us an opportunity as a coaching staff to really see our players compete on the playing field as Broncos versus our opponents. And then we'll finish up with one last question. You know, with the Billy Gurnan era kind of now starting at Western Michigan, what's one thing that fans you know, can expect to see from a Western Michigan baseball team? High enthusiasm, high intensity, high energy. I mean, we're going to expect our guys to compete and play the game out for 27 outs. Whether we're up 10 or down 10, I want people to look at us and say, that's the same team every out, every inning, and we're going to try to go one pitch at a time, knowing that we are going to finish games start to finish, be very competitive, and hopefully, Kristen, we'll be mo be known more for pitching and good quality defense and timely hitting. And if we are known for that, I think we'll find ourselves in a good situation in Chillicothe at the end of the season.